Hey, this is Presh Tullwalker. On January 22nd, 2018, Facebook Open Source tweeted the following. We've launched Flix, a unit of time slightly larger than a nanosecond that exactly subdivides media frame rates and sampling frequencies. The story caught the media's attention. From The Verge, Facebook announces that it has invented a new unit of time. From TechCrunch, Facebook invented a new time unit called the Flick, and it's truly amazing. From the BBC, Facebook invents new unit of time called a Flick. I think the most accurate headline goes to Ars Technica. Oculus creates a new open source unit of time to measure frame rates. Oculus is a VR subdivision of Facebook. And perhaps the most misleading title I saw was from the Daily Mail. In all capital letters, what are Facebook flicks? The new measure of time invented by Mark Zuckerberg. I should mention it's an incorrect title because the flick was developed by Christopher Horvath and others through a discussion started in late 2016, which you can actually see the Facebook post where they were discussing it. Now there's one detail that could not have been encapsulated in headlines is that NTSC variations are variable frame rates and they'll be handled by approximate frame rates which can then be represented exactly in flicks. So flick is short for frame tick and it's a unit of time that can exactly divide many common rates for video frame rates and audio sampling frequencies. Now the unit of a frequency is a Hertz, abbreviated HZ, and that's one cycle per second. So common video rates vary from 24 Hertz to 120 Hertz. We can convert these Hertz into frames per second. And if we wanted to subdivide these into one 1000 subdivisions, we would multiply each of these by a thousand. Common audio sampling rates are measured in kilohertz. These are samples per second, and they range from 8 kilohertz to 192 kilohertz. These are some of the common ones. To convert from kilohertz into hertz, we'll multiply each of these numbers by 1,000, and here we go. So, we want the smallest frequency that will evenly divide all of these numbers in order that we can sync frame rates of videos and audio sampling rates. So what number would evenly divide all of these numbers? Well, using brute force, we can calculate it's 705,600,000. And from this number, the unit of flick can be defined as one over this, which is approximately 1.41 nanoseconds. Now, what's interesting for me is that we can actually derive this number using basic number theory. And that's what I wanna go through in the rest of the video. So where does this mysterious number 705,600,000 come from? Let's figure it out. So we start out with these frame rates and sampling rates, and we want the smallest frequency that will divide all of these numbers. So what is that? Well, mathematically, we're talking about the least common multiple of all of these numbers. So how can we get the least common multiple of this gigantic list of numbers? Well, it actually turns out to be something not too difficult for us to calculate. We can simplify the calculation by eliminating any smaller number that's a factor of a larger number. For example, 192,000 has factors of 8,000, 16,000, 24,000, 32,000, 48,000, and 96,000. So we can eliminate all of these smaller numbers from the list because the least common multiple will at least be as large as this largest number. We can do the same thing for some of these other numbers in the list. And when we do that, we end up eliminating actually quite a bit of this list. So we only end up with five different numbers and we need to figure out the LCM of these five numbers. One way that we can do that is by taking the prime factorization of each of these numbers. Now, in order to figure out the least common multiple, we take the highest power of each prime in this list. 
So we have 2 to the power of 9, 3 squared, 5 to the power of 5, and 7 squared. We multiply each of these together to get the least common multiple. And the number we get is 705,600,000. So we know that this is the number of flicks that we want in one second. Therefore, the unit of time a flick will be one divided by this number. And this will be approximately 1.417 nanoseconds. With this unit of time, we can then convert to all of these common frame rates in terms of flicks, and it'll be an exact integer number. So it'll allow us to exactly define each of these frame rates and possibly convert and sync between them without any problems. So it's a pretty interesting concept of time. And it's interesting how the number theory comes into play in deriving this. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon. If you have a suggestion for a puzzle or another future math topic, you can email me at presh at mindyourdecisions.com. You can also catch me on social media, either at Mind Your Decisions or at Presh Tallwalker.